Also speaking out today, the man who oversaw the law enforcement response to the protests and violence in Kenosha, or Sean Gallagher sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with Kenosha County Sheriff David Beth. The fences around government buildings in downtown Kenosha came down yesterday, but there are still remnants of the unrest that gripped the city about three weeks ago. And now Sheriff David Beth says they're just trying to get used to their new reality. Sheriff David Beth says it's going to take time for things to get better physically and emotionally in Kenosha. I look forward to Kenosha healing from what we see here and it's getting there. But healing police community relations may take even longer. For his role in bettering systemic issues facing law enforcement, Sheriff Beth is open to suggestions. I'm starting to get phone calls of different people who love to come in and talk to me and meet with me, and, and so we start organizing those to, uh, next week. I look forward to their ideas and, and what, what other thoughts they have. I hear the complaint, and... If everybody thinks that I have the answers to how to make it better, I don't. We're still waiting for more information on the Jacob Blake shooting investigation from the Department of Justice after nearly three weeks. Kyle Rittenhouse, the Illinois teen accused of shooting and killing two protesters, was charged within two days. Some are wondering why the difference. Why the difference? Why aren't... I don't have that answer. Two different agencies handling it. Kyle Rittenhouse, he's in Illinois right now being held because he's accused of first-degree murder. Um, an officer involved in a shooting that is being questioned is allowed to be free. Do you believe that that's right? That officer. I'm not even involved? commenting on that one. Oh, why not? We can look at each other for a long time, but I'm not commenting on it. Why? Why don't you? I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm not commenting on that. Earlier this week, the National Guard announced it had finished its time in Kenosha, though Sheriff Beth says they are already preparing for whatever decision comes down about the Jacob Blake shooting. We're going to do our best to be prepared for whatever happens. Uh, I believe that no matter how the decision comes out, uh, some will like it, some won't like it, so we will be calling in resources to uh, help make sure Kenosha stays as calm as it is right now. Officials are still trying to figure out exactly how much all of this damage is going to cost. The only ballpark estimate I've been told is somewhere between 30 and 50 million dollars. In Kenosha, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.